Ladies and gentlemen, we've played a round of Heads Up. We've played a round of Never Have I Ever. Now we're gonna flip it a little bit and play Have You Ever. So I have some questions here for Milan and Hamza, and we're gonna find out, have you ever done this? Whether in India, whether in Pakistan. So let's go ahead and get started with Have You Ever. This one I think both of you have probably done. Have you ever been told by your parents to listen to your elders? Of course. Yes. Yeah? Tell me about that. All the time. Like, even if you're doing something right, you could get into Harvard, you could you could get straight A's, you could do everything, you could lose all the weight they ask you to lose, and you still get told that you're not doing it right. Because the elders have this magic. Milan, over to you. Can you relate to this as well, Milan? Of course. Yeah. And if, if at all, you have the guts to ask, why? Because we were born so many years before you. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yes, that's a qualification, right? Yes, I like that. All right, very good. Next, have you ever recycled plastic bags? Recycled it, saved it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like recycling is the cheesy word here, or they just get stored because I don't know. They see parents and everyone are scared of the the, the trash grocery bags running out. It's not even a recycling thing. That part might get edited out, but hey, yeah, I'm just not, being honest. It's not just about recycling. They are branded separately. If it's like an expensive bag coming yes. from an expensive place, and this has somehow passed on to me. So I have like all my Macy's bag at a place. Oh, very all good. my grocery bags at a place, so I recycle them. All. Oh, I like that. Very good. All right, we're going to do one uh, that's a little intimidating for me, so uh, excuse any pronunciation issues here. So I'm going to try my best. Have you ever been threatened with the phrase Tere Babko Gar Anido? <laughs> I love it. Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> right there, did I say that? Yeah, yeah. I butchered it right. I butchered it right? Okay, very good. How would you actually say that? Tere Babko Gar Anido. I feel like I did that pretty well. Yeah. Have you ever been threatened with that phrase? Yes. What does that, what does it mean? It's, it's, it's a usual tactic that uh -huh. moms use. Okay. Tere Babko Gar Anido, let your father come. Oh yes, no. Have you been threatened with this as well, Amza? A little bit. The main thing was, uh, Maka, th my mother's power and fear in the household was so much mm -hmm. that she was enough. Oh, so okay. the dad, we had to really mess up for, for the dad card to be used. Usually the mom card was enough. Very good, very good. All right. Uh, have either of you ever been given a lecture about the importance of oiling your hair? Yes. And I do it. Why is it important, Hamza? It's good for hair health. Yes. I haven't checked. I haven't Googled it. I just I bought into the program as soon as my mom told me. Around eight years old, I guess. Yes. And, like, but I do the vodka oils and oh, the garlic vodka, oil. Vodka. Yeah. Yes. Like I do all that. Yeah. Milan, yeah. should I be oiling my hair? I didn't know about this. I do that. Like till date, I do it twice a week. And more than hair health, health, it's also about your mental peace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does calm me down. Yeah. Yes, Interesting. it helps. Well, y'all convinced me. I guess I need to start oiling yes, my hair. Yes, and there hair. are a variety of oils if you ever go to an Indian store or Pakistan okay. store. Yeah, you can pick and choose that. We'll talk after the show. Yes. You'll give me yes. all the best oils, right? I'll, I'll, I'll Very good, I like that. All right, uh, next. Um, have you ever added shampoo and water to make the shampoo last longer? Yeah. Duh. Yeah? <laughs> that happens yeah. with dishwashing liquid. That happens with any liquidy thing. And I, I've just owned up to it now. I just don't share it with people besides this. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this not just a Pakistani thing, I guess? This is no, an Indian thing yeah, as well? Of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Even the sanitizing, the tubes, it all. <laughs> I have mixed water in that as well, diluted it. What's the longest you've gotten one thing of, of shampoo to last? Years, Hamza? No, no, no. <laughs> Kip, Kip has judged me hardcore. My heart has broken. No, no, no. Maybe a couple of weeks. See, <laughs> a couple it, weeks it takes a lot of shampoo to get the oil off your hair oh, as well. Very good, I like thank, that. Thank you, <laughs> Milan yeah. saved me on. Yeah, yeah, she did, very good. All right, um, again, forgive me of any pronunciations, but have you ever had a char with almost everything? Of course. Yes, what yeah. is a char? Am I saying that right? A char, pickle. Okay. Oh, a pickle. Oh, yeah. But with lots of spices. Oh, have you ever very tried good. it? Um, I don't believe that I have, no. Okay, you gotta go grocery shopping with I us. Need, yeah, I need hair oil, I need Desi pickles, yeah. I need all of this stuff. I feel like a char, though, you wanna ease into a char. 
Yeah? I, yeah. I, like, get yogurt when you get a jar, because if you're not used to the intensity of what you're about to experience, yeah. okay, it's an explosion of flavors. Yeah. Oh, very good. All right, this will be our, uh, our last one, and I want some good stories on this. So have you ever tried home remedies for anything and everything? Yes. Yes, Milan, yes. what's your favorite home and remedy? Everything that sums up is jugar. That's the jugar. word. Everything that you can do, there is an alternate, like we just saw today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> everything can be done. Very good. What is your favorite home remedy, Hamza? Oh. Just, just use tape on everything. If it breaks, just tape it up. Whether it's something in your car, it could be, a, I don't know, like things that matter that could fall on you. The answer is usually, did you try like taping it up? And yeah. And it's fixed. All right, yeah. very good. Yeah. Do you want just one more? Yes. Okay, yeah. one more. Uh, have you ever been told that good grades are the most important thing no matter what? Yes. Yes? How many times do you think you've been told that, Milan? Always, but they don't they don't tell us when to stop, when it stops, because when you're in school they say, okay, get good grades. We have board exams like yes. the, over the country. They say do well in this and you're all set and we do that and then we move on and then we have the college and then you do well in this and there's entrance exams and there's engineering, then the next. They don't tell us when to stop. It just keeps going and going. Just do well, do well. <laughs> yeah. Do you agree with us, Hamza? Are good grades the most important thing no matter what? Yes. Grades are life or death. Like bees are like there's no it's they see parents live Pakistani parents at least live in extremes. It's like A plus plus or F, like you failed, your life is over. You could make a B plus, you could make yeah. seven A's and one B plus, and your life is over. No one's gonna marry you, you're not gonna make the money, your mom's gonna leave you, everything's gonna burn down, and I'm gonna calm down now, but yes. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last, right? There it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> but did you, do you have the concept of Sharma Ji Ka Beta? So every time you do something not so good, you're always compared to your neighbors. Oh, Son. yeah. Sharma Ji Ka Beta Ko Itne Achche Grades Aaye. Oh, there's there's a ton of cousins you get compared to, and then it's depending on how bad you've performed, it, and depending on if it's your mother or dad, then they compare you to the paternal or maternal side. Like, yeah, it's a whole thing. Like, and these cousins are probably all married too. Yes, yes, <laughs> most of them. Yes, that's right. Adding to the fire, Kip Sanders. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, Milan, Hamza, thank y'all so much. That wraps up our game of Have You Ever. We played Heads Up, we played Never Have I Ever, we played Have You Ever. And again, this was in honor of Independence Day season coming up. We have Pakistani Independence Day coming up on August 14th, followed the very next day by Indian Independence Day on August 15th. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Again, Milan and Hamza, thank you so much for joining us here and happy Independence Day season, everyone. Happy Independence Day.